Okay, we have a pretty crazy looking integral. This one's from the Vienna Integration B 2024, problem six. Now to get started with this, despite we have a lot going on, there's a lot of places where we can get simplification too. Like I think this is the most obvious place right here. Sine squared X plus cosine squared X, that's gonna be the same thing as one. So that's gonna transform into one plus tan squared X. But we have the identity for this. This is the same thing as secant squared X. So what I can do first is we can rewrite the denominator. So first we can rewrite the numerator just using this. Next, let's see what kind of simplification we can get here. Now with log properties, we're adding natural log, natural log, natural log. We can turn that into multiplication. And also what I want to do is write this in terms of sines and cosines. So putting this all into one expression in terms of multiplication, this one's going to be one over sine X. This one is going to be one over cosine X and cotangent x is going to be just cosine x over sine x. But then I can cancel the cosine with cosine here. We'll have 1 over sine squared x. I can actually flip it and take a minus sign up front, like thinking about like a minus 1 power. We can write this as minus natural log sine squared x. And before I put this back, notice we're taking the derivative of this whole thing. So we want the derivative of this thing. So let's just do that out and see what we get. First, the derivative, we'll have the minus sign up front, then first the derivative of natural log sine squared x, we bring the sine squared into the denominator. Then chain rule on this, we're gonna get two times sine x using power rule. Then chain rule again, derivative of sine x is gonna be cos x. Cancel sine with one of these signs. Then we just have, and then what we can do to clean this all up, I can write this as bringing the two up front, minus two cosine over sine is just cotangent x. And so let's just take this minus two cotangent x, put it back in the integral and continue from there. But now at this point, the trouble I have is in the numerator, the exponent's pi. So it's really making me think that I need to clean this up or else how am I going to have some complicated expression raised to pi? So what I can do is make a u substitution for all this here and see what happens. So we'll say u equals one plus natural log secant squared x. Take a derivative on this, then derivative one's just zero. Derivative here, that's gonna give me one over secant squared x. This is kind of like what we did over here with this. Then chain rule on this, derivative of this is gonna be two secant x. Chain rule again, derivative of secant x is gonna be secant x times tangent x. What I can do is combine the secants and write this as secant squared times tan x. But then I can cancel the secants here, and then for our du value, we just end up with 2 tan x dx. But the interesting thing about that is we've got cotangent right here. The reciprocal of cotangent is going to be tan x. So let me just make a little space right here. And if I take this into the numerator, I can write this as tan x dx. But then let's just create this 2 as well. So I'll multiply in a 2. I don't want to change it, so I'll divide by 2. And so what we've done is we've just created our du right here. So now I'll just go ahead and substitute, but let's put together in the denominator here, we've got minus two times two, I'll write this as minus one fourth here. All this stuff is just gonna become u to the pi, and then this thing here is our du. But now pi is just a constant, so we can just use power rule on this. So going ahead, we're gonna have minus one over four. Integrating here, this is gonna become u plus, u to the pi plus one over pi plus one. We just need to back substitute in order to finish it off here. So for my final solution, we have minus one over four, one plus natural log secant squared X, all to the pi plus one over pi plus one, add a plus C and that's it. Okay, really going from Vienna integration to 2024. And actually in the notes, it said this one was originally created by black pen, red pen. So that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.